Storm Team 10's meteorologist Chris Cozart has been keeping a close eye on Helene, which has reached hurricane status just after 10 this morning. Chris, what new developments are you seeing? Well, we're still on track to seeing landfall as a major hurricane here Thursday evening. I think what has my concern is beyond Florida, uh, Georgia, the Carolinas, they will be under the threat to see some significant and uh, significant widespread power outages from this storm. I want to talk about our weather for just a second here, and then we're going to get to Helene. So there is a marginal risk for severe weather this afternoon. There was just a severe thunderstorm warning about 30 minutes ago. It has canceled there. There's their scattered storms now moving into Jeff Davis Parish. It has weakened. There were some signs that this area, this thunderstorm activity was producing some stronger winds, not showing that anymore. But nonetheless, some heavier rains and some lightning strikes. Cold fronts trying to move through here, and that cold front again is guiding Helene away from us. And there's the latest look at Helene as a hurricane here, and it's already looking very impressive here on the visible satellite. Unfortunately, it has another 24 to 36 hours here of more development that it's going to go through. So now a category one storm expected to be a category three at landfall here uh, Thursday evening, 125 miles per hour winds on the cusp of being a category four. As it goes up to Georgia, it still will be weakening and moving quickly, but it looks like a category one to category two through much of Georgia. So some widespread power outages there could be a significant event even as far inland as Atlanta. So that's a concern that I see as we progress after landfall. We'll have a full look at our forecast coming up here in about 10 minutes. All right, thank you, Chris.